and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and in this video I'll be sharing with you everything I DIY'd for my wedding. I hope this video helps to inspire you in your wedding planning process and give you a few ideas if you're feeling a little bit stuck. So let's get started. Starting with signs, here is my wedding party sign to share who's who. I used a large foam board, wood printed contact paper, and brown paint to cover the back of the sign. For the lettering, I used my Cricut to cut out the names on cream vinyl so everything had a nice, consistent look to it. I made two other signs using similar materials, the first being the seating chart, made with the same foam board, contact paper, and vinyl lettering. I cut this down to fit into a photo frame and used this artificial leaf string as a place to pin the table arrangements to. I found these mini clothespins in gold and printed the seating chart on cream A5 paper, which I cut in half to better fit the sign. For the order of events sign, I made this poster on Canva. It matched the style of our invitations, menu, thank you cards, all of that stationery. And I strung it up with the string and pins just like the seating chart. Other signs I made included the table name signs. We decided to pick places that had special meaning to us as a couple and named the tables after them. I found these acrylic signs with wooden stands at the craft store and used my Cricut to cut out the table names. I also painted the base of the sign gold and added a paintbrush stroke behind the names so that they would stand out. We had nine tables and I got a pack of 10 acrylic signs, so I had one to spare which I used to make this adorable sign that went in front of the box of fuzzy socks which we rolled up to look like cupcakes. Moving on to favors, in lieu of place cards, I made everyone a custom bookmark to put at their seating using my Cricut to cut out their names. I bought clear acrylic bookmarks, which I then painted a sea wave inspired pattern, adding some gold flicks to give them depth. I used both chiffon ribbon and tassels to finish the look. With their bookmarks, each adult place setting was given a mini bottle of tequila, which we did in fact put together and fill ourselves. We bought a lot of tequila to fill these. And then we added fun labels to them with all sorts of different tequila inspired sayings. I designed these labels on Canva and used my Cricut to cut them out. To add a little lime to the party, we put together sweet bags filled with lemon, lime, and orange candies. We used a lime patterned washi tape and some other custom made happily ever after stickers to close the bags. During the ceremony we had little paper pillows of dried flower confetti on each chair. I wrapped them in green satin ribbon and added the same happily ever after sticker. As for the flower confetti, I actually have a whole video sharing how to make this if you're interested. Along the lines of flowers, we had the most beautiful real flowers for our day, but I did use some faux flowers for a few different projects. The first being to add some color to our cards box. This was a glass terrarium and it had a card sized opening at the top. I added a bunch of silk flowers loose inside it. As for the word card, you probably guessed it, I cut it out with my Cricut. This next flower DIY is one of my most favorites. I made my own cake decorations. Wedding cakes can be really expensive and as much as we wanted to have a cake for the cake cutting, we were having a full dessert bar as well, so we didn't need a huge cake to feed all of our guests. Instead, we ordered this simple cake from Marks & Spencers, which is a nice supermarket in the UK. I had the pre-made flower decorations ready to go on the day to be placed onto the cake. For this, I just used faux flowers, wire, and a little hot glue to form them together in a pretty design. I made a mock-up of the cake using cardboard to make sure that the dimensions were right and to have a photo reference for my aunt who helped put it all together on the day. The last category of DIY projects were all made with my Cricut, and these are some of the gifts for my bridesmaids and family. Starting with the robes, I customized robes for each of my girls to wear while getting ready. I also made a robe for myself. The robes came with eye masks and scrunchies, so I added a little design to these as well. I had some other little goodies to give them too, so I wanted them to have a zip cosmetic pouch to keep them in, but of course I needed to customize this to make it special and I love how they turned out. 
For the dresses, I customized wooden hangers for each of the girls and myself to have our dresses hanging on. This was great for the photos of the gowns before getting dressed too. For the morning of the wedding, I wanted us to have fun mimosa glasses to sip out of while getting ready, so I ordered these cups online and customized them myself with names and wedding rolls. One extra item I made was because we were having a destination wedding. Some of my friends and family were coming for a week of wedding activities before the big day, so as a thank you for coming to all of those events and crossing the Atlantic Ocean to do so, I made some London themed tote bags. I designed the pattern within Cricut Design Studio and used heat transfer vinyl on cotton tote bags to bring the vision to life. I almost forgot to include this, but I also made my own party top for my outfit change and a matching purse to go with it. I paired it with a suit jacket and silky wide leg pants found randomly at TJ Maxx and somehow it all came together. The base structure was a bra and I covered it with stretch satin, pearls, ruffles, and a sparkly pearled veil. I wish I filmed a making of video for this one, but I was deep in the planning trenches while working on it, so I just didn't have time in the moment. But I loved wearing it on the day. And there you have it. That is a look at all of the DIYs I created for my wedding. This was one of my favorite parts of wedding planning. It was so much fun to come up with these ideas and see them come to life and know that I had my own little special touch on a few of the items during the wedding day. Crafting DIYs can be a little bit stressful, especially for a day as big as your wedding. So make sure that you allow yourself plenty of time and enjoy the process along the way. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some ideas and if you did like it be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment down below if you're planning to do any of these DIYs yourself. In my next video I'll be sharing the pros and cons of getting a Cricut for your wedding DIYs, kind of sharing the cost breakdown, so be sure to stay tuned for that video coming soon. In the meantime I hope you continue to have a wonderful day, happy planning, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!